Hello everybody, uh, so um, I've had a lot of uh, questions on Reddit and by some of my friends who have Macs who love Fallout, um, and this is a tutorial on how to get it running on Mac, because as a lot of people know, uh, it's a PC only game, and since, it, since Fallout 3 and New Vegas are fairly old, um, the thought to make it Mac compatible was probably not around. So this is how to uh, get it running. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go get wineskin. If you don't already have it, a lot of Mac users have it. Um, so you're going to want to get wineskin and you're going to want to download it. Um, I already have wineskin, so I'm not going to get this because there's no point. So, I'll close that. Uh, so that's that's a start. So then you're going to you're going to get wineskin. You're going to get a zip file and you're going to unzip it and you'll get wineskin winery. So you'll do this. Um, and then you'll be here. Uh, you may have to download some packages. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But uh, I don't think it'll matter. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, I'm not going to go over that. Just Google it. It's not that hard. So you're going to want to select the new wine 17.26, and you're going to want to create a blank wrapper. Um, I already have one, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I'm just going to call this one Fallout. So you'll get this window right here um, and it's just going to be telling you that it is you know up and running and it's uh, building it uh, this could either take a while or um, it could go quick my computer isn't that great especially since I'm recording this right now it's not helping um, oh here we go so it's going to ask you about Gecko. You don't need to do that. So just click Cancel. There. So Fallout has been created. And in a second, I'm going to get a uh, dialog box asking if I want to save it. So while that's going, it'll show up soon. I mean, you, it, prob it probably won't take you very long. It's only taking me long because, okay, there we go. So you're going to want to click View Wrapper and Finder. Um, and then I think Wine Skin will pop up again too. So you don't need that. So you can just close that out. And then you'll have your brand new wrapper. So I'm just going to drag and drop that to my desktop. Um, oh, and this also is nice because it'll work for any, well, mostly, most other um, PC games that you would want to play on your Mac. So, now that I have my wrapper, I'm going to open it. Um, so, here we go. And then, we're going to click, um, sorry, not install stop. We're going to click advanced. Go to tools, and then we're going to go to wine tricks. And then, you're going to search for packages, and you're going to search msxml3. And then check the box, click run, click run. So what this is going to do right now is it's going gonna, it's gonna to install um, the XML. Alright, sorry about that. Um, my... Um uh, QuickTime player kind of crashed um, at the end there. So basically, uh, when .NET 40 is installing, um, it's just going to be the same thing. It'll install, and then uh, you click Finish, and you're all set, and then you, then you close you close the wrapper. Um, so after the wrapper is shut, then we're going to have to go and download the um, Steam install. Uh, so, uh, on the Steam website, you're going to get uh, ex an exe file, but uh, for some reason, uh, for one reason or another, uh, you can't use an exe, you have to use the .msi binary file. So, you're going to download that. <coughs> um, and I already have it, so I'm just going to not download it, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to cancel. 
um, and then it'll show up in your downloads eventually. Uh, so you'll have your Steam dot uh, Steam install dot MSI right there. So then you're gonna want to open up your wrapper. And you're going to want to click install software and choose setup executable. So once you have that, you can, if you drag it to your desktop, just navigate to the steam install.msi file. Uh, no, that's wrong. All right, and then choose that. Okay, so it crashed again. Um, and so basically all you missed is it is now just, uh, it got to the installer, you just leave everything there, you basically just agree to the terms and services and just keep clicking next and leave everything at the default, select your language, and then click finish. Um, and then the install process will take a little while. So as you can see, I'm on the second Steam update and it's updating right now. So it's uh, almost finished, which is good. All right, yep. So, uh, yeah, there's no text here, but don't panic. Just close out that window. Uh, and then we'll get a dialog box that says, um, that basically is going to ask you what file you want it to open. And, yep, there is that. That's another text I received. So, I'm going to go, and you're going to click steam.exe. Because that is what you want it to launch. There. Click OK. All right. So, we're almost done. Now, you're going to want to go to Advance one more time. Tools. Registry Editor, RegEdit. All right. Here we go. So, then, you're going to want to go to HKEY Current User. Open it up. Software. Open it up. Valve, open it up, and Steam. Then, when you're there, inside the Steam folder, you're going to want to uh, click Edit, New, and then create a new D word value. And you're going to call it D Write Enable, I believe. I think that's what it is. I have it written down somewhere. Yes, call it DWrite Enable. And then just leave the value there. And you can just uh, close that. And then once, re once RegEdit is done closing, <coughs> excuse me, uh, close that. Then you should be able to open your wrapper. All right, there you have it. And then you can log into your account. Um, I won't. And then it's going to ask you to, like, verify that you signed in there, and uh, it'll send you an email. Um, so once you have uh, logged into yours, you'll get um, this. Uh, and it's just a Steam version of, uh, uh, sorry, a PC version of Steam. Uh, but this is not the best um, way to run it. So you're going to want to quit your wrapper, uh, and then this link will be in the description, and you're going to want to download um, Steam Build 1 BD3D.zip. So you're going to want to click that, and then unfortunately, unless you create a paid account, which you can do, but... Um, I didn't want to, so this actually took an hour or so, and like 45 minutes to download. So you'll click slow download, and you'll get a zip file. Um, so once it's finished downloading, at least you'll get a compressed zip file. Um, uh, basically just called uh, the Steam build, oh, Steam build zip file. Uh, so then you uh, open that with archive utility, and you'll get this. Um, wrapper. This is a wine wrapper. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to get um, its compatibility from the wrapper that you created. So you'll open this 
Uh, hopefully it'll open. You'll it'll it instead of showing uh the wrapper image, it'll show basically a Steam image. So I just have I have Mac I have Mac Steam for all games that are compatible with Mac, and then I have oh yeah here it is. Then I have this for my PC games uh and you know it, to be specific um Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Call of Duty World at War, and Skyrim. So, this will open, and there you go. And, oh, right, you, since it's your um, thing, since it's your going to be your first time opening it, you're going to have to do the whole sign-in process, and you're going to have to verify that it's you, but then you're there, um, and then your games should all be here, and you can install them. So then you can play Fallout. Uh, it'll have like a four steps to install Microsoft DirectX or whatever. All this stuff is all going to happen every single time you open it. It shouldn't... It doesn't really matter. Um, it, I never had a problem with it. So New Vegas will open. And Fallout 3 will open. All of these games um, open up. Uh... And then it'll show up as another application down here, just under the same kind of wine application. Yep, you'll see Fallout New Vegas. So that's about it. Now you have now uh, you can play New Vegas. Any really any PC games, but this was just in specific for Fallout. Um, but now, pretty much any PC game you want, you can now play on your Mac. Which was definitely a nice discovery. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And, uh, just let me know if there's anything I could have done better.